Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the first episode of the Ramadan program, the Ramadan competition program. This is Dr. Ahmed Muhammad, the Drew's resident director of the Youth and Young Adult Islamic Studies at the ICJ. Quick fun fact, did you know that the Prophet ﷺ fasted nine years of Ramadan in his life? And that is because Ramadan was not made obligatory except after the second year or in the second year of Hijrah. Now the Prophet ﷺ, whenever Ramadan would come, he would be so excited about it that he would give the glad tidings to the companions and he would say, Ramadan. The month of Ramadan has come and it's a blessed month. In it, the doors of the Jannah are left wide open and the doors of the hellfire have been shut. And the heads of the jinn or the shayateen have been chained. And in it, there is Laylatul Qadr, a day that is better than a thousand months. Whomever is deprived from it, then he's truly deprived. So the Prophet ﷺ, when he mentions this, you quite easily see that there is a very beautiful message of hope. That one in this month, it is a great opportunity that we can achieve the ultimate goal, which is the purpose of why the Ramadan is legislated, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had mentioned it, is that we would achieve taqwa. Now obviously the question, question that comes up is, what is taqwa? Taqwa in a nutshell goes back to the root Arabic word that means to protect yourself from something. And so in this case, one can think of it as attaining taqwa is to protect yourself from the wrath and anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How? By fulfilling your obligations and refraining from sin. So in essence, what we're doing is that we are increasing our level of hasanat and reducing our levels of sin, which would result in an increase of iman, which would obviously bring us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and further strengthens our bond with and connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But how does Ramadan then allow us to achieve this level of taqwa? Let's look at it this way. If you notice that Ramadan, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala legislated, it's amazing how everything in the month also changes. And it actually in reality does help one achieve taqwa by the mercy and help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you look at the atmosphere and surroundings around you, you will notice that almost everything around you changes. Everybody is excited for Ramadan. And so everybody as a group are performing the fast. They're fasting. It's an act of worship. And everybody around you is praying almost on time. There's more people in the masajid. There's more people praying tarawih. There's more people reciting the Quran. And it's when it's this the case, when there are things done in groups in the community, it naturally becomes very easy for us to perform the same actions. And because these are pious deeds from prayers, reciting the Quran, praying the tarawih, fasting, what it does is it brings us extremely much closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because every act of worship elevates our, elevates our levels of hasanat, which consequently increases our level of iman. At the same time, in that same atmosphere, what it does, we naturally have a feeling of the sacredness of this month, which means that we try as hard as we can to stay away from sins. Many people, if they're doing something quite often, they're more conscious of what is being done that is wrong and they would stop it. And naturally, everybody around us is the same thing because we are very protective not to allow anything reduce this, the level of hasanat that we can get from fasting. And so in addition to that, now everybody around us is very careful. And so naturally, we become more careful of falling into sin. In addition to that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he had mentioned through the, how, when he revealed to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa that the chayateen have been chained, this means that all of a sudden, a source that quite often would encourage us to fall into sin has been eliminated. In addition to that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he told us that there is Laylat al-Qadr. And the Prophet ﷺ said that in it, if you achieve it, it's a worship, worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that day is rewardful and it's better than a thousand months that is equal to 83 years. An entire lifespan of acts of worship, in addition to your own lifespan. And so if you look at all of it gathered together, all of a sudden you realize, subhanAllah, it is truly a wisdom and a mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he legislated for us this month of Ramadan. It acts as a pit stop of fueling for spirituality. The entire environment really truly helps us to attain taqwa, a status that is befitting for those who are striving to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among those who are going to be able to lift the Ramadan and to be able to exit the Ramadan in a higher level of Iman and a better status than we have entered. جزاكم الله خير سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان انت استغفرت واتوب اليك السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته